Boys here, back with another Grilled Grabs. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! Yeah, I'm back with another Grilled Grabs this week. I'm gonna go straight into it, no more wasting time. First up, we have the Acne Studio sweatshirt in an extra large. It's going for $86 US. The seller says that this can possibly fit a large because it does run slim. Mainly because Acne Studios, most of their clothes are very slim fitting. It's honestly a great price for like one of their iconic shirts. It's this big screen print and like, you know, the classic Acne Studios font on top of it. They have a bunch of t-shirts in that and this is a sweatshirt and for an $86, it's, that's pretty good, that's, that's pretty good. Next up on the list is an APC Kanye collaboration in a medium. This is gonna go around $81 shipping from the UK. This is Kanye's collaboration with APC. I had a couple pair of, a couple pair, couple pairs of their pants and actually sold them all off. The quality was pretty good, but it's just like they had a very odd fit. I always wanted to pick up this sweatshirt. It has this interesting um, reverse patch design where it's actually inside out, which I thought it was really cool. It's in this uh, dark navy colorway. The seller rates it around an eight out of 10. I'm assuming that there has been a decent amount of wear. Why did I say that so weird? Decent amount of wear. Decent amount of wear, so there might be some color fading. So ask the buyer if you guys want more detailed pictures. Next up is from Our Legacy. It is their peak polo from their Splash collection in a small. The seller is selling it for $40 shipped from Asia. So this collection is basically, all of it is very more modern cuts. Very comfortable and very breathable for the summer, especially because it's like this weird cotton linen blend that's kind of slubby, which kind of means it's a bit looser. I think it's around an eight and a half out of 10 because the seller didn't give a rating. It looks worn, but not worn to the point to where it would be beat. It looks like it's been worn a decent amount of time. Last up on the list is a Thom Brown dress shirt, striped dress shirt in a size medium. I think this is a crazy steal because it's only fetching for $71 US. It's, that's crazy. For Thom Brown, their shit is like super expensive. This is extremely discounted. But you guys have to watch out for their sizing because their sizing is a bit slimmer and a bit shorter for most of the garments. You can't really go wrong with a classic Thom Brown shirt. You can wear it up you can wear it down especially because it's this white and blue uh striped uh dress shirt so i think it'll look extremely well with jeans or with slim fitting dress bleh, dress pants and the seller has kept it in pretty immaculate condition i'd say around like a nine and a half out of ten if i were to give it a rating that's it for the tops and now going for the shoes first up on the shoe list is a common projects achilles low in an army green color in a u.s size nine I swear to god i feature like common projects in like every single grill grabs like i just i'm a hype beast i'm a beautiful hype beast it is 202 dollars shipping from the u.s it is 202 dollars shipping from the u.s i think this color can work amazingly during the fall i'm thinking kind of ahead of time yeah i'm kind of thinking forward because I think this will be a good alternative to like the all black pair or to like the dark navy pair. I think this will be a great alternative because army green is a very versatile color. Almost as versatile, or probably just as versatile as like olive or uh, burgundy. The condition is 9 out of 10 since it comes with all of the original packaging and has been worn very lightly. And if that gets sold before you guys find it, I picked two alternatives for you guys. So the first alternative is another Common Projects Achilles Low, but it's a retro and it has a black tab. The sizing for this is 11 and a half US, but it will go up a size roughly. That's all Common Projects sizing. This is gonna go for $145 shipping from Canada. It's a pretty beat pair, but for under 150, I think it'll be a great deal, especially because like it's still wearable. It's still in pretty good condition. And Common Projects, honestly, I think it looks a little bit better when it's kind of roughed up. And another alternative is an Achilles Low, again, in a US size eight this time. It's the gray suede pair and it's going for $129 US. It is a bit beat up because the suede, it's kind of like, it's like super hairy suede, I don't know, it's probably like, 
uh, right in there, but I'm playing. It's $129. Again, that's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. That's pretty fucking cheap for common projects. And honestly, the soul actually looks cleaner than the first alternative that I sent you guys. So you guys check that out if you guys are US size 8 or 11 and a half or US size 9 for you guys. All those three common projects. There you go. Here's my fucking friend, Michael. Hello, BB. Hey, you want some fuck? Yes, I am free tonight. All right, sorry about that. So that fucking phone call made me realize I didn't have my fucking mic plugged into the goddamn camera. So I apologize for this. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Just professional editing, I love it. You know, mwah, Kevin, professional. This is how you're gonna reach that 1 million subscriber mark. Mm, delicious. Last up for the shoes is a Yoji Yamamoto Casa High in a size eight. It's in this all white colorway. Pricing is $203 shipping from the US. I think that's fucking mind blowing because this has been unworn. My people. Yeah, so it's dead stock. He said he only took it out of the box just to take pictures. I know these were on sale for um, a few stores, but like I'm pretty sure this guy's not gonna make like a huge fucking profit or a profit at all from this. But it is an all white Casa High. I think it looks dope. I might pick it up. I might suck a dick or two. Next up is Bottoms. Next up is an All Saints washed cigarette jeans in a 3034. It is going for $64 US. I remember when I first uh, wrote kind of like the list for uh, this week, it was 72, the price dropped again. So guys, seriously, check it out. It's an awesome skinny pair of washed pants. It has pretty nice stacking because of the 34 length. The seller says eight out of 10, which I'm just assuming that it's just from uh, constant wear and just like normal usage. The seller also says that the pants fit more like a 32, 34. So it does have a looser waist, so just keep that in mind. Last up for the bottoms list is a Yoji Yamamoto Por Om uh, wool trousers in a size medium. And when I mean size medium, it's gonna be in the grail linked below. He actually put all the dimensions out because it's not like standard jean sizing. It is going for $186 shipping from the US. I think that's a pretty fantastic price. Fantastic price for a pant made by the Yoji Yamamoto main line. It's like super quality material from Yoji Yamamoto, but I would give it like an eight out of 10, mainly because of there being a minor hole in it. It's not really noticeable. It's barely noticeable even in his pictures, but I'd give it an eight out of 10. And to be fully honest, I feel like the price could go lower, but so many people are watching on it watching on it. So many people are watching it that I do suggest either you guys click on that hard button to watch it or for you guys to either just pick it up if you guys are into that kind of hippie new wave experimental style. Cough, cough, sons. <clears throat> Last up is an accessory from Louis Vuitton. It is the Keep It bracelet. This is for $150 shipping from Australia slash New Zealand. I think it's a super iconic bracelet for anybody following like you know, like Louis Vuitton for a while. It's this nice, like, just simple bracelet. There's honestly nothing else for me to like hype it up about. It has this nice silver clasp and wow. So that's it guys for this week's Grail Grabs. Hope you guys enjoyed it again. That like, comment, subscribe. Generic YouTube outro. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. to stop!